My husband and I moved from Brisbane to Sydney in early 2020. The fires had stopped, but it was still the middle of summer and unpacking boxes was really hot work. The townhouse that we moved into had this great little patio. So when I needed a break, I'd look out at the trees, share space with the birds and let my mind just play with a chew toy. And the chew toy in this particular tale was a business strategy framework I'd come across a couple of years earlier. Well, that contemplation led to an insight, which I now call the cycle of chirotic flow. The first remarkable thing it did was lead my husband and I to prepare for COVID lockdowns three weeks before Australians rushed to supermarkets and shops everywhere ran out of toilet paper. We had no more information about COVID than anyone else. The only difference was that we knew where we were in the cycle of chirotic flow. And because we knew where we were in Kairos time, we also knew roughly what had to come next. Hi, I'm Kylie. I'd like to invite you to join me on this incredible journey of seeing the world through the lens of Kairotic flow. That framework I'd been chewing on was Simon Wardley's brilliant pioneers, settlers, and town planners. And he uses these three archetypes for strategic navigation of business contexts. Wardley mapping is powerful because it brings context into the picture and context provides clarity about the choices available. I realized that I wanted to see all of the contexts of life that way, not only business contexts. So I fleshed out the cycle by adding three archetypes and noted the tensions between them. As a result, chirotic flow brings clarity to a much broader landscape of contexts. And we need that. Systems and institutions that we rely on are failing, and so is our trust in them. Ecological crises, social political unrest, financial difficulties, and technological upheavals are confusing and overwhelming us. Civilization is being pushed to the brink. We're all feeling it as individuals, as families, as communities, in a multitude of different ways. Chirotic flow maps the full life cycle of dynamic, interacting archetypal forces. It's simple, but as it turns out, also very powerful. Those three archetypes I added, steward, curator, and scout, lack visibility in today's world. Their functions are undervalued, even maligned. And that's important because it creates and reinforces the predicaments we find ourselves in. We don't see the bigger picture of the cycle of chirotic flow, so we think we're trapped. And because we think we're trapped, we are trapped. Nowadays, people who prefer the activities of the purple side archetypes, steward, curator, and scout, often struggle to stay afloat and sane. And that's because the world expects most of us to earn our living on the orange side of the cycle. And most of us buy into that in some way. It's a mismatch with reality that is especially crazy making right now, because our global civilization as a whole is actually in the curator phase of its life cycle. Now, every one of us acts through the whole cycle on a regular basis, but perhaps you're curious to know where your home archetype might be. Here are some questions I'd use to help figure that out. Now, all of the things being equal, would you prefer to repair something you already have or get a new one? That's the steward pioneer tension. What usually energizes you more? Getting to the core of a problem to figure out what went wrong or improving something that works to make it even better? That's the curator settler tension. And which work would you prefer to do? Venturing out into the unknown to search for completely new possibilities or applying expert knowledge to establish stable, standardized, well-organized systems. That's the scout town plan attention. I especially love Chirotic Flow's ability to shed light on the big picture of what's going on in the world or in my own life or projects. The clarity it brings as a sense-making and strategy tool is almost magical, even to me. And that's because chirotic flow is, in essence, a holonic map of meta-context. What that means is that the abstract patterns it describes play out fractally in every facet of life I've looked at so far. The life cycles of plants and the cells in our bodies. The process of moving house. Team dynamics, project life cycles, and whole civilizations. Now, this degree of abstraction can take a little while to wrap your head around if playing with abstract concepts is not your favorite pastime. But I promise, once you understand how it works, 
it's really intuitive and practical to use. Once you clearly see the bigger picture of what's going on, the rest is just common sense. Let's look at the COVID example I referred to earlier. And my husband and I first heard about the coronavirus at the end of January 2020. By then, it had spread beyond China and the WHO had flagged it as a global health concern. Well, our global civilization relies on a standardized, just-in-time global supply chain. That's the town planner archetype. Pandemics aren't standard, so the standard processes had to fail one way or another. Following chirotic flow, the pressure had to shift to the next archetype, which is steward. The steward archetype couldn't fix those ill-suited standard processes either. Plus, governments have a stewarding responsibility to their citizens. They're supposed to safeguard public health, which meant some form of quarantine and more pressure on supply chains, leading to more failure, leading to more pressure on steward. And that's what my husband and I saw immediately, looking through the lens of chirotic flow. So we didn't wait for the supply chains to fail. We prepared by going straight to the archetype after steward, which is curator, to figure out what we needed, and then on to scout to find ways to meet those needs and to take risks into account and so on around the cycle. Common sense, right? After that, the chirotic flow cycle kept popping up everywhere I looked, and I wondered if I was going mad. So I shared the diagram on Twitter and in some Zoom conversations to get a reality check. People agreed it made sense and brought it up later in relation to entirely different topics, not only with me, but with others. And so over the past three years, chirotic flow has taken on a life of its own. The choices we make are always ours to make. Chirotic flow just makes our full range of choices easier to see and easier to trust. It dissolves the boxes we have created and put ourselves in. There are other benefits too. Chirotic flow can help us better understand each other and see what we have in common. It highlights where our personal strengths and joys are, as well as our biases and our blind spots. And this can help us resolve conflicts and more wisely exercise our own power. Clarity makes it easier to take responsibility for what is ours to do and to let go of what is not ours to hold. The power of clarity is immense and we all know it but it's not always easy to find. When we're overwhelmed, it's tempting to look for clarity in simplicity, but simplicity often ignores context altogether and reality won't let us get away with that. Reality is complex and context matters. Oliver Wendell Holmes said, for the simplicity on this side of complexity, I wouldn't give you a fig, but for the simplicity on the other side of complexity, for that, I would give you anything I have. I agree with him. And I wonder what he would think of chirotic flow. I know what I think. The power of chirotic flow should be accessible to anyone who wants it. It belongs in the commons, stewarded by a guild of certified master practitioners. The trick is how to get there from here. It's going to be a balancing act for a while. The first crucial step is to get me out of the way as soon as possible. I'm a bottleneck. And that right there is the purpose of this campaign. I need your support to devote my time and attention to writing the first book about chirotic flow. So please make a financial contribution if you can and enjoy the perks. Also, please help me get a ripple effect going by sharing this campaign with others. Every bit helps. Thank you.